All right, so check it out. Denfix actually sent me this care package a couple weeks ago and I've been dying to share it with you guys. It's actually one of my favorite tools and one that I use every day, the DF3D Digital Tram Gauge. Oh, this is, uh, I've opened it up already and the only thing I've done so far was install the batteries that they provided, which is great because there's honestly probably nothing worse than getting a brand new electronic and having to go buy batteries. Am I right? So this is exactly how it comes with all of our different attachments for different lengths, um, our pieces to install the rods and um, the tram gauge itself. All right, so I'm gonna take this thing out of the box and start putting it together. We loosen the set screw, install these pieces. We'll go with this medium length here, or short length, I guess. Goes in. Turn on, and actually it calibrated right away. But normally I open and close it to uh, automatically calibrate it and then from here on out we have our distance of a thousand fifty millimeters from here to here take this center guy move that over to 400 and I can measure 400 millimeters so we can go all the way as short as 400 millimeters and as long as 11.1 feet or something which is crazy long oh my god it keeps going what <laughs> three thousand six hundred and sixty millimeters the autos are pretty short, <laughs> right? But we can check wheelbase measurements to like quickly decide if suspension components are bent and things like that. But here's a, uh, I want to show you guys kind of what I do every day with this thing. Just had to go for the E30, huh? Man, we had to, we had to find a crashed up car in the shop to do some <laughs> measuring. So this car we know was in an accident and we know it probably shouldn't be straight. Um, but I haven't measured it yet at all. So I guess now's, now's the time to find out. We're gonna start with a cross measurement. So I'm gonna come up here and you notice there's a hole in the strut tower there and one here, and they should be in the same spot. But even if we take here and then we'll find symmetrical holes on the radiator support. And we can take our measurement, we're seeing 1128 millimeters. So come to the other side. <laughs> it should be the same. Instead of 1128, we have 1090, a good 40 millimeters short. So that's just under two inches difference. So she's, she's pretty bent. We can do a length measurement. And we have 265, right? Add 400. Which if you're just doing comparison, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really, right, right, exactly. So sometimes I just take that 265 number. And we go to here and we have 249. This car has definitely moved around a bit. Let's, let's find a straight car. So let's find some symmetrical measurements here. We'll go to the center of the fender bolt, which is probably not normally a hole I like to use, but this car is very straight. So normally, when you see something like that, this car is exactly 1,300 millimeters. It's usually a good sign. Manufacturers <laughs> <laughs> don't normally like to build cars with odd numbers. And we come over to the other side, it's exactly 1,300. If the X is perfect normally you're not running into any issues so we'll take a length measurement and we're at about 14 14 there maybe a 14 13 there so we have a one millimeter difference across the whole thing this car is straight as straight can be and definitely falls within tolerance so I just wanted to show you guys the Denfix DF3D digital tram and kind of how I use it and what I do with it every day. Thank you, Danfix.